Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scam Rules and today we're back with the second part of the mystery box this come in the same box as the tanks so this is the aeroplane one, this cost me this much same way as how you buy them before, there's different variants on there tanks, planes, ships, different prices um, so imagine if it goes well and, they, and they've sold quite a few they might change it up to different different stuff and they might do uh, tanks and planes together, it all depends, I don't know what their, what their plan is so I decided to buy two, this is the aeroplane one straight off the bat, I am happy straight off the bat three kits I've never bought, never built, don't know what they're like so if anyone knows in the comments what they're like feel free to uh, tell me um, so straight off the bat, the uh, 170 second Bristol Paul and the uh, North American Mustang and we have the F-15 Eagle F-15 Eagle I have built in the past 148 scale from other manufacturers they're okay never done their 170 second airfix version the pool uh, defender uh, I've done in airfix is 148 scale lovely kit goes together here's a quick picture I did it in the night camo version uh, night scheme again there is a build video I'll leave that in a, a link in the description goes together lovely the 148 version Never done the 170 second. Is it a downscale? I don't know. Mustang. I've built Mustang from other manufacturers, but I've never done an Airfix one. Um, 170 second scale. I've heard it's okay, not too bad. But we shall get into it. Okay, folks, what you want to do is go to Airfix webpage, is what you see here. Go up to the top where it says Shop. Go to Bundles view all mystery boxes and uh, value packs go to mystery boxes and this is the range that they have at the moment there is one more which was the classic range but it seemed to be taken off maybe because they run out of kits or they just stopped it in general so we have the aircraft bundle range which is what I bought for £22 they recommend you will save up to £14 value plus more you have Airfix Tank 135 scale mystery box saving at least £50 worth your cost of £75 you can buy their ship mystery box with a value of £50 they recommend you at least save £10 worth of kits I bought the aircraft kit and the tank kit mystery box the prices on the screen is for each of the three kits I will do a running total of what we saved at the end so let's get, take a closer look at these roughly this is the starter kit so you do get brushes and glue not a fan of their paint because there is never enough it's okay for um, your children and stuff to get into the modeling give them this starter kit they let them get on with it and stuff I wouldn't really recommend this glue it just creates t far too much mess it's only worth using for large wing pieces maybe just like uh, Ravel glue otherwise it's right in the bin their brushes are not too bad I do like their brushes I use their brushes for weathering and stuff so the only thing I'll be keeping out of that is probably the brushes the rest of it will be going in the bin but the kit I'll be keeping so let's take a closer look so straight off the bat we will do the uh, F-15 Eagle it's the starter kit like I mentioned before I'm not a fan of their tools but the paint brushes are okay again let's see what we get inside this is factory sealed So it's the full one bag construction worksheet. Strange if we get their colour called out and paint guide is on the back. So it's the uh, grey colour with the uh, darker grey on top of bluish grey colour. We do get a tiger markings on the towel which is pretty cool. I will do a closer in depth video on this. So we we'll quick nosy in the instructions. Doesn't look too difficult. We 
You notice there's no marking sheet because it's on the back of the box. And some basic decals. So we have the parts for the towel, the US symbols or stars and bars. Should be no problem. They look pretty good. I believe Airfix use cardograph decals now. And I like cardograph decals. I believe they're one of the best manufacturers for markings out there now. So that's no problem at all. As for the kit, all stuffed in one bag. Doesn't look too bad. But I say I will do a closer video on these kits. Next one. Next kit I got in the mystery box is the P40, uh, sorry, P51 Mustang. It's a 170 second scale. Pretty cool kit, factory sealed. Nothing else in there. Again, the paint scheme is on the back of the box. There's only one scheme. This one's from uh, Italy. It does look like the red tails, if I'm not mistaken. It's a pretty good movie as well, the red tails. It's a true story. About the Tatiki Airmen. It's about the uh, black uh, American pilots. So, Airfix's instructions for this is a pull out page. Looks pretty simple, not a problem. Instantial data. Kit of stuff in one bag. Two sprues, so not a ton of parts. I have heard good reviews about their Spitfire and stuff like that, and their Hurricane goes together pretty well. Don't know what their Mustang's like. Doesn't look too bad. Details pretty cool. Those uh, panel lines is a little bit big for this scale, I believe, but that's not a problem. Once it's all built up and weathered and washed, it should all blend in nicely. So one thing I did forget to show you is the markings. Pretty damn cool. Probably these stripes on the wings, I will paint them yellow. And the tail gets painted in red. This is for the, uh, towards the front. Maybe I'll paint that on, I'm not 100% sure. Instrument decal, that's not too bad. Okay, the last kit out of the three that come in a mystery box is the 172nd Bristol Pool Defender Mark 1. Pretty cool kit. Factory sealed. So we have stuffed in one bag, two sprues, nope, sorry, three sprues. Doesn't look too bad. Again, I mentioned I will do separate videos for these individual kits two pilots strangely enough I don't remember the 148 getting pilots but the 170 second has I don't mind their pilots they're not the best plastic pilots in the world but they work for Airfix especially if you don't fancy buying aftermarket and the uh, cockpit can be a little bit plain sometimes and you just want to liven it up a little bit because you find people that build these airplanes and they put them in flight mode or, or flight and they haven't got a pilot it does look a little bit weird sometimes so instructions this is a uh, normal booklet this time so pretty cool shouldn't be too difficult it looks very similar to the 148 how it was put together yeah very similar when I did the 148, getting this turret on was a little bit troublesome. They, the way they say to drop it in actually doesn't really work like that on the 148. Markings. It's the uh, day version or camouflage. So this is uh, 264 Squadron, uh, July 1940s. And you do get a night variant. This is the aircraft I did build, and this is the 148 scale. Again, same couple of pictures that you previously shown you, and the link will be in the description of the 148 scale build of this. Lovely kit, goes together nicely. 
I'm a fan of this one slide off the back because it's got a tiger mouth. But when it comes to building this 172nd, I won't be doing a night variant because I've got it in 148. I will probably do this one because I haven't done it in that markings. Um, as for the markings, you get these day and night version. <clears throat> so lovely markings. Again, it's printed by a cartograph. Not a problem. You got to give it lovely. So there you are, folks. There's the three kits I got in the aeroplane mystery box. Again, here's how much it cost. And this is what we saved. Is it worth buying? Again, yes. These are free kits that I haven't got in my stash. I've never built, so I'm happy with that straight off the bat. If you've built a ton of their airplanes and stuff, it's not really worth maybe buying because you may end up getting stuff that you've already got and built before. If you are interested of getting stuff that they've already that you've already built in the past and you like them and it's and it's worth the gamble, but because I've never built any of these so straight off the bat like i mentioned before with the tanks so i've end up with two mystery boxes i have two four six seven kits out of two mystery boxes and six kits out of that mystery boxes i've never built and never seen before which i'm happy with only one kit out of that that i've built in the past so that's a win-win for me i like that will i buy another one not the aeroplanes and I won't buy a tank one because the chance of getting those same kits again is quite high now so I won't be buying them too. I'm not going to build ships, I don't really like ships so I won't buy the mystery ship one. There is a classic air range one, I may get that, we shall see. I may get and warn another aeroplane one because I know you can chance of getting 148 stuff in that possibly but it is a gamble, that's what the mystery box is about. So like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.